very, very rare and special. I would dare say this could be the world's first documented animal to be of that color. Now, the fact that you caught that in the wild. In a fish trap. So. In a fish trap, guys. In a fish trap. What is this thing? Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another adventure, and today is going to be one of the craziest days on the channel once again guys one of the slayers got in contact with me they went ahead and caught something crazy in a fish trap i set up the tank it's been cycling for a couple days guys let's head over there and pick up whatever he got so slayers i made it to my boy's place dan's geckos now he is the person who contacted me about something very 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 rare and special i would dare say this could be the world's first documented animal to be of that color. Now, before we get there, can you give us a little tour about you? what you got going on here For on sure. your porch? Um, this is my red tangle. Okay. Tompers. Tompers is the name? Yep, he's a crazy guy. He looks awesome. I also got you a little gift, brother. I got you some crickets and I got you some pinky mice awesome. as well. So, there you, so you, you can put that. you can put that right For there sure. or sure. whichever you want to put it. Sure. But look at this guy, is he, is he feisty? He's pretty feisty. If you stick your hand in, he'll, he'll definitely jump. Oh no. Really, like really, really jump? Yeah, oh, he's so. looking right at me. Okay. You yeah, got some serious air. <laughs> yeah, I see them. I know my buddy Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch has a really, really big one. And that thing is huge. This one's like uh, about a year old? Yeah. More or less. Yeah. More or less. These are really cool. Yeah. Oh, he's looking right at me. I've right. for a couple of years now. Oh, okay. Look at that guy. That he's guy so cool. very small. Nice, nice. So uh, what do you want to go ahead and feed him? Because he looks really, really hungry right um, now. We can feed him some pinky mice. Okay, cool. Because I did bring some pinky mice and some crickets like I was saying before. Awesome. Look at this guy. What a cool reptile. I've been looking to go ahead and get one myself. Maybe uh, hit up my friend uh, Tiki's Geckos, I believe that's his name is. Yep, that's a good friend of mine. Yeah, he's super, super cool yeah, he's too. He's super nice. Yeah, and I know he's breeding some albinos and stuff, which is super awesome. I saw him on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch's channel too. Yep. So he's got, you got a little pinky mice right there. Nice. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does Come right buddy. here. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he got it. Dude, that is so cool. So I'm assuming he eats like three or four of those all day long. Yeah, I usually give him about three. Okay. Um, yeah, he, he'll eat as much as he can. That's so cool. He's never full, so. Oh, bro, most of these things are you, never you full. You can eat the whole bag of at the end. Oh, I'm sure. So I hear this trickling back here. I'm assuming this is where you're holding the prize piece. I'm assuming. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little fish on top there. Oh, there's a mullet. What is this thing? You said you caught. Wait, hold on. You gotta tell me what exactly. What? It, hold on. I can't even get the words out of my mouth. I'm in <laughs> shock right now. Look at this, guys. This is out of this world. Oh my gosh. Hold on. She's super friendly. She's so being handled. Wait. So, tell me about exact. Tell me about this eel. This one, I think it is. It could be an eel. It could be. An, it's definitely some sort of eel because it doesn't have arms, and so it's not a greater sign. So yeah. tell me exactly what happened. Like, did you catch this or you bought it? Um, no, I actually caught it. And um, the other day, um, my mom had brought me um McDonald's. Okay. Wait. We're we're gonna throw your French fries. Wait. Like, you know what? What? This is a, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna McDonald's? throw your French fries. I'm like, you know what? Let's not waste food. I put it in a trap. Next wait, next morning, I woke up and I had this? a large albino thing, and I'm like, what the heck is that? And, and here we yeah, are today. That was a beautiful eel. Oh my gosh. Guys, is it an American eel? It don't doesn't look like an American that eel. That looks like a koi fish almost, right? Yeah, it has that calico pattern. Yeah. That she's gorgeous. She's amazing. a hog. She, she, eats, she eats everything in there. Really? I had a bunch of gold fish in here and just disappear for one day to the next. Oh my god. That is wild. That is absolutely amazing. Well, you called me. I'm here. Yep. Guys, it looks like we'll be getting one of the rarest, coolest things ever I have ever seen on the channel in the world, guys. An albino American eel. So, um, how about, how are we going to get a little bit of water? Can I get a little bit of water from here? Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm going to go get a bucket real quick, and then we should be good to go. All right, awesome. Wow. This is amazing. I know you guys are hearing the trickling of this filter, but look at this. How majestic. I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of little... I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch of tubes and everything like you have for her, yeah. so she can hide. But she's gonna be alone in a tank, and I have just the perfect tank. Yeah, dude. I'll be having just some fish and some PVC pipes. Oh my gosh, 100. percent I might have to put like little mollies and stuff in yeah. there just to have it pretty. Yeah, I always feed her a little goldfish, and she loves it. Wow, this is absolutely insane. This is something I've never seen before. I'm trying to pick her up. She's just really slimy. Check that 
out, guys. Does she even have eyes? I don't even think she has eyes. Oh my gosh. All right, cool. Let's get some water, put her in a bucket, and then we can go from there. And this is going to be one of the coolest things I have ever had on the channel. And it's going to be all because of you. The fact that you caught that in the wild. In the fish trap. So. You know, fish trap guys in a fish trap he's a dedicated subscriber he's been watching a lot of our our videos yeah, here and everybody here one. since day one a real slayer guys and the fish trap has produced something out of this world guys you know the blue crayfish sure there are the white ones all that type of stuff could happen these genetic yeah. mutations happen in the wild and this is something out of this world so would you like to do the honors my friend sure let's go ahead and find it i think she's hiding under the logs. I'm sure you have other type of animals in here, like plecos. Um, yeah, Looks three, like a snapper have, right here. I have three plecos, two snappers, two red ears, and wow. a Japanese um, pond turtle. Dude, what a cool little enclosure you have right here. And then I have a bunch right of dual cichlids too. Well, oh, I don't know. They're still in there, or, or are yeah, they elated? No, they're still in there. Oh, so okay. Cool, cool, cool. They just cool. hide a lot from the turtles. Nice, nice. I believe she's right back here. I see her tail. Oh, she's, I see a snapper. There's a snapper in there too. We're gonna have a little baby snapper real quick to go ahead and show everybody what's going on here. Uh, oh, there's my, my little God. friend. I think it's a little friend, a little small Godzilla. Yep. How cute. Oh, I love him. Man. Future monster. Future monster. Here's one over here. Yep, there's a bigger one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Wow, it's crazy that they'll subscribe in this perfect little ecosystem right here. Yep. A lot of places to hide, cover. Now let's it's make perfect. a naturalistic for them. Yeah, I see that. I think she's right over here, though. Yep. Oh, there she is. Yep, there she is. Hiding and moving. Yep. Maybe if you want to tap her, you can get her out okay. so you can have a better opportunity to move her to the, uh, the bucket. Yep. Uh, Go for it. Oh, she's so uh, slippery. She's hard to catch. Yeah, oh, she there's is. There's Japanese. Uh, this is the Japanese pond turtle? Yep. Those are so cool. Nice. <laughs> he just said yeah. hello. <laughs> oh, see, this is why the pipes are very, very important. Yep. So what we can do is I'm going to bring this bucket here. Uh -huh. I'll put the bucket right here so uh -huh. that if you pick them up or her, I'm not sure what, how to pretty much sex eels, but you can just plop her right in there uh -huh. so she doesn't fall on the ground. Let me see if I can get her with the whole tube, maybe. Here you go. Right there. That her. There you go. Perfect. Wow. Nice landing. Wow. 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 This is insane, Dan. This is Thank crazy, you. bro. I'm honestly, I'm on top of the moon right now, guys. This is insane, bro. I could have done it without you. Heck yeah, dude. Wow. So guys, go ahead and subscribe to my boy Dan's geckos. He breeds a lot of crested geckos. What other kind of geckos? You said leopard too? Um, gargoyle, leopards, crested. I'm a gonna lot. Try, I'm gonna try to breed a tegu this year, hopefully. Oh my gosh. So he's doing a whole bunch of Mono stuff, guys. Also just uh, millions. That's awesome. I'm really, really happy yeah. to hear that, guys. I love when you guys watch our videos, you make your channels, and you start producing some things, and you just sharing it with everybody else on the internet, and it's just absolutely amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just get everything I need for this guy right here, mm -hmm. and then head home. Wow, awesome. that thing is wild. What's up, Slayers? You see me in the reflection. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. If you take a look, we got Yeti here looking icy, looking so crisp, so clean, so white with this lighting. It's absolutely insane. And we, of course, have my boy, Avatar. As you guys can see, that arrow on his head. He's been eating, he's been happy and healthy. Should have fed these guys for the video, but nonetheless, got our craze right there. And we got the blob catfish, our blob catfish right here. Shrek hiding in the cut like a germ. And then we have Godzilla in the back who likes to always hide in the back now. It's his new thing. There's a hide back there. But if you look right above, right there, we got Godzilla. Now, Flares, we're back here. We got Snoop getting spooked. You good, bro? You're good? How are you doing? You're good? Yeah, he's good. So we do also have Blade, the Psychomaniac, and then we have the real Psychomaniac right here. Come on. Oh my gosh. The Mighty Tyson Slayers. The Mighty Tyson shall be making an appearance on the channel again in an epic battle based on your comments below, guys. Slayers, comment below what you want to go ahead and see Tyson fight in the next future video we need to go ahead and clean this because i gotta get some blinds getting some algae but boy oh boy oh boy oh boy look at tyson he is unreal now guys we have a beautiful 32 and a half gallon tank right here which is absolutely perfect what's up snoop what's going on for the newest inhabitant our swamp eel that is right guys we have a swamp eel right here right now he breathes air he's insane and i got the bare necessities bro do not drink that water. Do not drink that water, bro. So we have some black sand because we want them to pop. And of course, eels are perfect. They're amazing. Got some tubes. So 
we can hide and cuddle in there. You guys saw it at Dan's place where he was running around and going in there. I'm gonna make this into like one cool thing. So you go back and forth right in here with some black sand. So this tank is cycle is good to go. It's been at it for a couple of days, like I said in the beginning of the video. And now it is time to go ahead, set it up at the sand, put the sand, put everything in. Snoop, can you chill out, brother? Stop, that is not food. Good boy. And then acclimate our guy. All right, Slayer, so the time has come when we go ahead and add our brand new rare freaking eel into its enclosure. That is right, guys. So with eels, they do breathe air. That's why there's no bubbler on this. And I also have left just enough room on top for it to breathe air. Air will be coming in through the back. As well as if I have to, I will open this up completely so air can come through. But the thing is, they are escape artists, guys. These eels right here are escape artists. So this is kind of like the perfect tank. I will be monitoring him more often. Open this up, come on, bro. This is, why is it so crusty? All right, this is all good to go. We can feed him right here. This is super cool, it's 32 and a half gallon. Fluval Flex, you guys know I love the Fluval, it's not sponsored, but I love you guys. Hit me up Fluval if you want. I will go ahead and gladly show off your tanks as I already do on the channel. But guys, this is perfect. This is absolutely amazing. As you guys can see, this decoration right here allows the eel to go all the way through. I kind of connected it. It fit perfectly, it can go all the way through. Right now it's a little cloudy, but it will clear up. Sometimes that happens with the black sand, but. You can see right here, it's super clear when we have our guy Shrek right there. So it's time, it is time. I have been pouring cups of water here back and forth to make sure this guy is completely acclimated. He is so special, he or she, guys. And obviously it's gonna be something amazing into this fish room. Boom. Oh, I turned off this light so you guys can see. Let me turn it back on. Bam, bam. Boom. Yeti is so icy, so crispy, baby. Woo! Can't wait to get you in a little special, special, special place. But guys, fish room is coming together. It's looking fire. Comment below what else you want to see right there. We have plenty of room. What's going on, Slayers? But yeah, let's go ahead and do it right now. Look at this thing. It's just so slippery. And it's actually really scary how slippery he is. Or she. Easy, easy. I'm trying to figure out what kind of eel this is. I wish I had someone here to go ahead and help me out to identify him so I can show you guys. But look at that. Look how he runs through my fingers. This thing is so freaking dope. Let me get down there for you guys. Look at that face. Wait, I want to be able to show you guys his face, but I don't want to hurt, hurt him too much or hurt him at all. Actually, I'm just, my hands are wet with the water. So he's just able to slide through these so slimy. Look at that. Look at that thing. So I do not think this is a American swamp eel. I think this could be an Asian one. I have seen them here before, but look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. I am sucking with getting the good angles and stuff, but I promise you that once he's in the tank, we'll have a way better look at him. But come on, come on, it's time. I'm just trying to figure out the best course of action to show you guys what's going on. Look at those eyes. See that? Definitely not blind, but definitely super rare. One in a million, never before seen. Swamp that look like this. I think this is a good option. Look at him move, look at him move, easy, easy. He's so slippery. You know what, I'm gonna grab a net. Uh, I don't wanna drop him if I pick him up and put him here, but I'm gonna grab a net right now. Uh, that's not, this thing's in the closet, I have stuff, I have a lot of stuff in here. Yep, grab a net, come on. That was not cool, but I got the net, we're good to go. Now we just gotta get him inside the net. All right, ready, here we go. Come on, get in there. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. All right. Get in there. Come on. Slide your way in. Come on. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. Now, you guys can really have a good look at him. He's pink. He's white. Definitely doesn't have any fins right now. Totally looks like some sort of Asian swamp eel, which is out of this world. Wow. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth, guys. We're adding our brand new one in a million or trillion or whatever it is, albino eel to the tank. We're gonna put that right there. All right, here we go. Go in reverse, go in reverse, girl. Go in reverse. Reverse, reverse, a little more. All right, here we go, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Put that over there. Take a look at this weird creature. This is really, really ugly. 
but I love it. I shall name you Squishy. Let me know in the comments below, Slayers. This thing is out of this world. That is so freaking crazy. Wow, look at this. He's so bright, so unique. Look at this crazy looking thing. That's exactly what it is, crazy. He's gonna get used to his new tank. He's moving around trying to figure out what's going on. This tank is only for him. And as he gets bigger, we will be upgrading this tank 1000%. Literally like a calico. We can name him Spot, because he has Spot, or we can name him Squishy. So Slayers, comment below if we should name him Spot or Squishy. So Spot or Squishy, guys, because he obviously has a lot of spots. This is so freaking insane. I hope he comes up, wait, wait, wait. I hope he comes up for air so we can go ahead and see that, so you guys can see. But wow. Look, 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 look. Guys, he's coming up for air right now. Just came up for air. It's about to start swimming around. Wow, how creepy. How dope. Just got his air. That's how you know he is good to freaking go. I think sand is the ideal substrate for eels like this. I can't wait to get him to come up to the surface and he, he'll, will, he will recognize me. Where's he going? Is he already going in his cave? Hello? Look at that. Already using his cave, guys. That is freaking insane albino eel guys albino swamp eel well slayers i hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much dance geckos for hitting me up to get this amazing eel slayers that's how we do it on the channel guys we do some crazy stuff we get some crazy stuff and we find some crazy stuff and with that being said slayers i will see you on the next adventure